What's going on, guys? Welcome to another video of Hit Squad Productions. Now, first and foremost, I do want to say I wish every single one of you a happy holidays. I hope you guys are being safe and healthy during this time. I appreciate every single one of you that have supported this channel, whether it's liked the video, shared the video, commented. Appreciate every single one of you. Now, the New York Giants, uh, we have some news, right? So the Giants are extending free safety Logan Ryan to a three-year, $31 million contract with $20 million guaranteed. Now, obviously, how is this going to affect the cap? Well, we don't have the numbers yet of what the cap is going to look like for next year. Um, we expect the cap to go down. So we'll see by the end of the season where the cap is at. Um, I know a lot of Giants fans are kind of questioning, well, what are we? What players are we going to bring in? What players are we going to keep? I personally want to keep Dalvin Tomlinson, but I know that we have to look at players like, you know, Leonard Williams, and we have some contracts coming up. There's some free agents that we may be looking at. So how is this going to affect the cap? Well, we don't really know just yet. But when you look at the contract and the production that Logan Ryan has given us and the kind of leader that we've gotten on and off the field, you really can't beat it. It's a very cost-effective deal at, like, again, three years, $31 million, $20 million guaranteed. Very good contract. The Giants have been doing that recently. They did it with Blake Martinez. They did it with James Bradbury. Three-year deals, nothing really long-term. Um, and the money's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, Logan Ryan really betted on himself this year, and it's paid off. Now, I think this definitely just draws some questions, right? First one being, well, is Dave Gettleman going to stay? Now, I personally think do think that Dave Gettleman will stay next year, whether that's as a GM or a scout or an advisory role. But I do think that uh, the Giants will keep Dave Gettleman. Now, this also draws the question to, well, how are they going to use Xavier McKinney? Because they picked up Logan Ryan after Xavier McKinney went down with his injury. Well, I think that the Giants may continue to use Xavier McKinney in the same way that they've been using him the last two weeks. And that's all over the field. He's played slot. He's played edge. He's played linebacker. He's played free safety. He's been all over the field. And obviously, I think that going into next year with a second second year under Xavier McKinney's belt, he'll have a better grasp of the system, and we may see a lot more of Xavier McKinney. But looking at this, this is a great signing, cost-effective in my opinion. I think that when you look at the production and the kind of player you're getting with the money that we paid for him, you can't ask for a better deal. I'm very excited. Congrats to Logan Ryan. It's very much deserved. Let me know your thoughts below. How are you guys feeling about this? Again, I really like it. When you look at the production that Logan Ryan has given us, when you look at the kind of play that we've been getting on and off the field, it's it's pretty solid. It's a pretty solid contract, and I think that he definitely deserves that. Um, you know, this defense has been the strength of our team, and we have to do what we need to do to keep this defense together. Now we got to focus on, okay, are we going to keep Leonard Williams, or are we going to keep Dalvin Tomlinson? I know that, you know, we're going to try to keep both, right? So I'm sure the Giants are going to, you know, Move the cap a little bit and see how they could keep both. You know, I don't think that you trade for Leonard Williams and just not extend him. I've been on record as saying that I personally do not want to extend Leonard Williams, but I'm not going to be upset if they do because I think that, you know, this year he's been productive, but in recent weeks he's kind of been out of the booth. You know, he hasn't really been doing too much. So we need to see more of the Leonard Williams that we saw the first half of the season. But let me know your thoughts below. How are you guys feeling about this signing? And yeah, happy holidays. Thank you for staying in. His squad productions out.